Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another episode of Blind Buys. Even though it seems like we've completely skipped spring and went straight to summer, even here in upstate New York, I'm still looking for some more springtime centered fragrances, some things that aren't specifically summer. You know, I've got Calvin Klein Eternity Summer, I've got CK1 Summer, I've got all these light blues. Um, there's a lot of summer fragrance, summer oriented fragrances out there, but I still want to find some things that are more focused on spring, or at least I think that they might fit in the spring. They may not be designed for spring specifically, but this next one, I saw it and immediately thought of spring. So I picked it up a few months ago and without John on for too long, We've got Cartouge's Essence of the Park. Now, Fragrance Nut had this listed as a men's fragrance. Uh, Fragrantica has it listed as a woman's fragrance. The reviewers on Fragrantica seem to universally agree that this is a unisex fragrance. And I think we're just going to have to sort of guess, you know, um, the Fragrantica notes are lacking heavily, so I pulled the notes off of Cartouge's actual website, which is Italian, and without John on for too much longer, let's just open this up. So they've got Cartouge embossed on the top, not that anybody's going to be counterfeiting this, and then very nicely... They've got an insert with their name. And this is kind of what we're looking at. So I'm pretty sure this is a niche brand. And I wish the bottle, the bottle was in backwards, but little thumbnail there. This is a very fancy bottle. Despite being, you know, very basic and unassuming, this is a very fancy looking bottle. Cartouge's, like, they they obviously have these made for themselves as Cartouge, you can see, is actually on the bottle. Um, as far as accords go, they sort of say citrus and aromatic on the top. They sort of say floral spicy in the mid, or heart, and they say woody and musk on the bottom. And if you can see that, the atomizer was actually facing the right way. Happy days. Um, and I guess we can do the notes. One, two, a little on the second, third to do. And let's just drive right into the notes. Uh, it's got bergamot, lemon, tangerine, artemisia, lavender, and a marine accord on the top. In the heart, they've got magnolia, neroli, lily of the valley, geranium, pink pepper, and cloves. And on the bottom, they've listed vetiver, actual ambergris, elemi, vanilla, tonka bean, and white musk. There is a lot. A lot going on in here. Um, that's neat. They've even got Cartouche emblem etched in the top. So, what does this smell like? It's not very potent. I'll tell you that much. Not off the first shot. It's citrusy. It sort of smells like uh, lemon in the air. It's very citrusy. Let's get a couple shots up into there. See if that wafts around. A lot of these notes I don't have a good frame of reference for. Okay, um, yeah, right out, right out in the air like that. Picks up a lot earlier. Um, this might not apply to many people, but it sort of smells like a 
vape cart with added terpenoids. That sort of waxy, citrusy, fake kind of flavoring taste that you might find in certain products that are legal or not across the market, depending on where you're at. Um, it's not... Okay, so I can sort of see how this leans slightly feminine um, because it does have a sort of floral, wow, quite the atomizer on this guy, sort of a floral mm, jaunt to it. It sort of has this undertone that I, I was finding in um, some of the female Atars, like Nargis and uh, Oyuni. There's sort of a floral, a floral note that you would not generally find on a men's fragrance. That's not to say this is completely inapplicable for a man. I think I need to wear this, of course, for a few days to really uh, figure that out. Um, but yeah, really it's citrusy and floral off the top. It's, it's not too floral, but it definitely has a bouquet stashed behind the cornucopia of fruits there. Um, the geranium, and I'm just kind of attributing it to the geranium because it's starting to smell soapy early on, and I kind of just blame that on geranium, the overuse of geranium in so many different scents. It's ever-present. If I look at the back of the notes or the ingredients right here, we've got ever-present geranium. Uh, it might just be a fixative, but it definitely, um, I believe, ends up changing the smell. Um, I would like to wear this for a few more hours, of course, and really see what the base kind of does. Uh, I'm kind of interested in the actual amber green, amber greenness of it. Not that if that's even a word. Um, I want it to. I want it to dry down. I'm hoping some of these white florals come off, and we get something that's more dead center than what I personally think it is right now, which is just slightly leaning feminine. Um, I have to go to Florida for work in a few days. I'm gonna be bringing this with me and purple label as well as ohm sport i'm not sure which one i'm going to open but this one i'm going to bring with me and it'll be interesting because this will be um one of the scents that i actually get to test in multiple different climates so that'll be interesting hopefully i don't choke anybody out down in south florida and down in the keys Either way, you know, whatever. I'm probably going to be in AC just because of the job. But I have blabbered on for long enough. I keep doing this. So I will see you on the other side of the waterfall. Thanks, guys. Okay, folks, let's wrap up our thoughts on Cartouge's Essence of the Park. We'll get the housekeeping and stuff out of the way first, as we normally do. Um, batch code is 009-22-054. And if you go on Check Fresh, which is where I try to verify all my patch codes, maybe it's not the best choice, but if you go on um, Check Fresh, Cartusia isn't even on there. Um, so just based on what they put in the batch code, 
I'm guessing this was either made in September of 2022 or it was made on the 54th day of 2022. So either September 20, um, September 2022 or February 2022. But that's just a guess. If anybody can confirm, let me know. Uh, at the same time, I don't think it matters all that much because nobody's really buying this and there's no no infighting about Cartouche's essence of the park. Housekeeping, I got this on FragranceNet and it was $107.99 when I ordered it. They've got 3.4 ounces on the bottle and that works out to $31.76 an ounce. Sort of on the upper end of designers, but... I think Cartouche is technically a niche house, although they may make like bags or something. I'm pretty sure they are niche. I consider them niche anyhow. Um, the projections, not super good. Uh, I've got like a four to five out of 10. It really could be better. I wish it was better, but at the same time, if it was much, much stronger, in that regard, it might even get annoying to the to its user, its own wear, and it just kind of fits a void well. It's not really, it's not in your face or anything like that. It's just a nice going about your day kind of scent, so it doesn't need to be insanely strong. Longevity, like I said, kind of going about your day, but you're also not going to get a full day out of it. Maybe four to six. I've got six to seven down, but, you know, maybe a work day if you apply liberally. I brought this down to Florida with me on a work trip, and uh, I was working in, like, air-conditioned areas and stuff like that. So I was getting some wafts throughout the day. It's not like I was generating a ton of heat. I was generally static and, you know, uh, kind of covered up actually as well, wearing a hoodie almost all day, even in Southern Florida. Um, and I guess you could say that that kind of hampers uh, projection. But at the end of the day, going back to the hotel, I wasn't noticing like I was having to reapply at the end of the day in order to keep like keep the thought in my head and try and figure out what this does. Um, but that being said, I was really, really enjoying it. It fit good in that Florida weather. It was maybe, you know, 80 degrees outside everywhere I was working inside, you know, low 60s, stuff like that. And it works good for those environments. It's really not going to be at all for winter, which you could probably imagine. I bought this for spring specifically and ended up wearing it in a more summer environment, but spring, summer, it's going to work out very well. Early on, I sort of thought that this would be a floral, uh, white floral kind of perfumey kind of scent that I didn't really think I was going to end up enjoying. The Fragrantica page says it's for women, and I already got into that, I think, on the other side of the waterfall. And I sort of kind of on first spray, I don't, I didn't have high hopes, but wearing it for the entire week, it really grew on me. Every single day that I wore it more and more, I really liked applying it more and more each day. I thought that it would be floral. It sort of really isn't. It's green and herbaceous and Though it does have florals in it, the lily of the valley, magnolia, geranium, it's not a white floral scent. It's not perfume. It's not for females. It's not for men. And it's not for robots. It's not robot juice. I think it's just kind of a good representation of a nice park, obviously. And it smells like flowering trees. Um... Like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it smells like waxy flowering trees in a way. But, uh, that being said, off the top, it's really a pile of citrus zest. So you take an orange, 
you take a lemon, you get a bergamot and all the other kind of uh, citruses you can amass and you get your zester and you start zesting and you build a pile, mix it all up, toss it in the air, get it all over your hands, get all those oils on yourself. And that's what this is going to smell like for the first two hours. It is very uh, citrusy in a rindy, tart, bitter kind of way. It's zesty. It really smells like, really smells like they just zested a bunch of citrus right into the vats of whatever they make this out of. You know, it's, if I had to ascribe it anything, I would say this is more natural than synthetic in that regard. It's very, very citrusy. When it, when it dries down after the couple hours of citrus, it, it gets taken over and it's not really, it doesn't really embody that uh, essence of the park any longer, I don't believe. You get that for the first three, four hours. And, you know, that kind of goes for any other scent. Um, you know, they change and they end up just being a base because they need, they need something to carry the top notes on. And then they need something that's going to last for the rest of the day and be somewhat pleasant. And there's only so many of those base notes that stick around for super long. So they have to pick and choose what they're going to use. They used uh, tom uh, Tonka, Ambergris, Musk. That's what ends up taking over. It's sort of dusty and uh, fuzzy. It's soft. The Ambergris is weird. I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like dusty and earthen possibly but not really um i don't have a ton of experience with ambergris obviously i've never gotten my hands on a chunk it's very expensive but if i have to ascribe the smell to anything i'm guessing what i'm smelling is ambergris i'd like to maybe get some more sense in the future and compare and contrast but it's this weird kind of musky um, dusty kind of smell. Uh, I've also got a note that the Elemi sort of comes through and upon research, Elemi is, uh, slightly, slightly citrusy and spicy fresh. Um, but that being said, this is overall a very nice scent. I really, really enjoyed wearing this. And I think Cartusia is a good house. I, I'm happy I bought this. And as you can see, I really did do a fair dent in about a week. I do like wearing this. I can't wait to wear it more in the future. But you shouldn't buy it. I, I just don't know of anyone that I would want to really just recommend this to. Unless you are adventurous like I am, there's almost maybe no point. And I really hate to say that because this is a very, very good scent, but I'm not gonna try and hype it up and make it sound like it's anything more wonderful than it really is. It's a good scent. It is what you sort of expect it to be. It's a springtime fresh, kind of uplifting green scent but at the end of the day it's not mainstream you know it's not really gonna fit most people and if you're watching me maybe you're a weirdo like I am and maybe you will want to pick it up so you know my opinion be damned you guys do what you want to do and if you want to talk about this fragrance more if you want any sort of opinions on anything, you know, I'm here for you. I'll talk to you about stuff, but I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be. And I'm just kind of like giving you some ideas of what this might be. But anyways, guys, till I see you next time, you know, find something that's as unique as you are. Wear it on a bash it. Lee. Wear it unabashedly. Until I see you, take it easy, guys. Thanks.